nuts here. And today I want to talk about when I danced on stage with Michael Franti recently. Um, so that was that was a few weeks ago, and yeah, it was a bit of a fluke experience. I mean, it was just they invited people up on the stage, right? And my friend who was there was like, "You go up on stage," and I've been feeling a bit like, nah, like, because I've been fasting, because I had kind of partially torn my ligament, but I've had quite a bit of healing in that area, but I was still pretty low energy. But she was like, get up there, and I was like, oh, oh, all right. And then, like, and I, and I got up there, and then I was like, boom! Like, just, I just, boom, like, I just, I had this energy, and I was able to really, like, connect in. That was really great, and so here's the footage. communication with people and also maybe times in meditation but you know it's not like my normal state and anyway so I was on the stage kind of having this spiritual experience of like oh yeah so what was happening was I'm bouncing up and down and I'm telling the audience I love them and I really mean it like with all of my being and I just want to talk about kind of just the phenomenon of that for a start like I guess before I stopped using drugs and alcohol, like before I came into recovery, and even for a lot of recovery, and maybe even after this point in time, you know, like saying the words, I love you, there's a lot, there can be a lot around that, like, ooh, like the, like the four letter word, they say, I love you. Like to, to be able to say, I love you, without feeling any kind of like internal constriction or like, mm, oh, oh God. Am I being cheesy? Am I being corny? Like, mm. like when I was doing it, I had the faintest. I had because I have paranoid thoughts actually all the time. Like, the longer I go in recovery and in my journey, the more I realize how paranoid I am. Anyway, so I have these paranoid like, but they felt like these kind of wispy waves of paranoid thoughts that were like, maybe all the audience thinks you're a dick, and you should stop telling them you love them because that's really dicky. Even though that's what Michael Frant is doing all the time, and he's like, if a human was a sun, Michael Frant would be like, you know, like the sun, like just radiating love with his giant mm, loveness. Anyway, so he does it all the time, and they don't think he's a dick. They just pay like seventy bucks to go see him. Anyway, so I had these thoughts that were like whispering on the outside, but I guess because of all the work that I've done with my meditation and my drug and alcohol recovery support group shit and all the like looking at myself honestly and being honest with other people and not that I'm always honest because I'm not and I've still got plenty of denial left I'm sure there's been heaps of shit I just don't even know what I'm lying to myself about but anyway I've had a good deal of honesty a good deal more than I used to have and thanks to that hard work I was able in that moment to let those thoughts kind of be like, oh yeah, like they talk about it, what is it like the clouds in the sky? The clouds in the sky, but they're not the sky, they're the clouds, they're not the sky. So let them pass by. And I could just go, no, I'm just gonna tune in, I'm just gonna, I'm fucking just gonna love this audience right now, right here, right now, like boom! I love you guys! Um, yeah, and I just was like, Man, you know, I could not have done that before. I could not have done that without kind of cowering in disgust or like just self-consciousness, like I'm like yeah, really uncomfortable self-consciousness. I was able to just really radiate. I just wanted to talk about that as a kind of like spiritual experience, as a like a like, yay, you have advanced to level five. Self-love life level five whatever you know like just was 
like, wow, this is like a really cool marker of something. It's fucking cool. Imagine just getting that access. Like I said, it's not all the time. I feel self-conscious quite a lot of the time. But in that moment, I really radiated. And I just wanted to talk about that as a phenomenon that occurred that was evidence of some progress in my life. Fruit and vegetables, eat them.